Lord Jesus, please help us pay attention to the dreams and the signs that you send us, and also to be able to interpret them, because I know you send them for encouragement. Amen. Well, my dear family, lately I've been having a really difficult time focusing more on my inadequacies and failures than on what I do right. And as a result of that, when I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking, oh boy, I need to repent for that yesterday. I need to repent for this. I need, you know, just a merry-go-round of repentance. And it's like I wake up to condemnation. Of course, I haven't prayed the binding prayer yet, and that does make a difference. But there's excitement in the air. The Lord is excited about something, and I'm feeling mostly self-conscious because I haven't managed to get oh, all of my self-control in line with what it should be. You know, when you sneak a cookie here and there, that kind of thing. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. I want to be pure and healthy and clean of conscience and mind, and I want to hear him clearly. Sometimes when I bow to eating something, it causes my hearing to go fuzzy. And I, my, I'm just not as acute during that time as I normally am. And I want that acuteness. I really want to hear him. So he is addressing that in this message. Well, dear family, this is interesting. A sister in the community had a dream that a message went all over the world to all nations. Wow, Lord. I don't want to miss that. Please help me really zone in on you and hear you clearly. Lord, I want to believe. Please help me. Jesus replied, just keep working and it will come. Focus on me and what we are doing. This is the secret. Stay firmly in my heart with my sentiments. This is key. Jesus, all I know is that people are hurting from the wars raged against them, especially in Nigeria. He replied, the world is mourning, Claire, because death is everywhere. But where there is suffering and death, I am also there. Do you believe this? Absolutely, Lord. Claire, my heart is breaking with what the devil has planned for this world but he shall not get all that he wants. Nevertheless, the casualties are tragic. The families ripped apart, children farmed out to relatives. The children don't even know. And then the abuse and the selling into slavery. Oh, how tragic this is. It is good for you to feel the overwhelming sense of hopelessness and to pray against it. But first and foremost, cleave to me. You cannot cleave to me if you feel like a failure. I understand that all of you feel you have fallen short, and that causes discouragement, depression, and a wanting to hide from me syndrome, feeling so very unworthy. I want to remove this lie from you so you will no longer feel unfit to hear my messages or even think of promoting them. The truth is simple. No one feels worthy. So give up on that and realize that my overwhelming love for you has made up the difference. I want you to come running to me in the morning without fear. I want you to jump into my arms like a little child and squeal with glee. What are we going to do at this day, Jesus? Do this instead of waking up to measurements of all your failures of yesterday and trying to figure out how you will repent or how you can be accepted after the things that you failed at. Make it simple and childlike. Say, I think I can do better today, Jesus. Please help me to be willing to be willing to go higher and give up more for love of you. That will be perfect. Now rivet your attention on me and what I am doing or want to do. Celebrate our partnership. Look forward to our prayers together and work as well. Accept me unconditionally because I accept you unconditionally. 
Of course I appreciate it when you manage to walk in self-control, but our working relationship does not depend totally on that. It depends on my faithfulness and your cooperation. I need you to believe that and be excited about what we're doing together. That is why I gave this sister that dream. Believe in me. That is the work. Believe in me that this work is not just a futile exercise but preparation for what is to come. You don't have long to go to get there, so let's keep on going. No more dragging your feet in unbelief. Take hold of the rope of grace and pull yourself up into my heart from which all good things come. And don't worry about your hearing me. This is not going to be a problem. Let the chores fall where they are and someone will pick up on it. I gave her that dream because I wanted you to believe and not just go through the motions every day. Is that clear, my darling wife? Very clear, Lord. Why am I feeling so wishy-washy? <laughs> and he said, the heat has got you down. Just keep your head up and be ready for action. <laughs>